Hey guys, it's Jessie V. So before you guys make any comments, <laughs> I have to address something. Last time I wore this necklace in a video, I got tons of comments saying that I looked like Pinhead Larry, or at least that's what I think his name is. And I had no idea who this person was until I googled it and found out um, <laughs> he was very interesting looking. And honestly, after I saw this, I didn't really wear this necklace for a while, <laughs> but it's been probably about six months or so, so I think I finally passed it and that's why I put it with this outfit today and if I still look like pinhead Larry That's fine. Okay. I'll embrace it embrace your pinhead Larry side I'm also wearing a dress which I don't think I've ever worn in a video before I'm always wearing like a shirt or something and this time I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put on a dress and it's like velvet material. It's so soft Just don't tell Ty I'm wearing this because he absolutely hates velvet Like he can't even touch it or go near it or smell it or like do anything with it He hates velvet so much and it's not like one of those. Oh, I don't like velvet like literally Literally, if you put velvet near him, he will like run for dear life. He just doesn't, I don't know, something about the way it feels on his fingers, he doesn't like it at all. So while I wear this, he will not hug me. He won't hug me. No, he probably would, but he, he just would not be happy about it. Anyways though, as you can tell by the title of this video today, is gonna be another very strange, uh, strange video <laughs> as usual. I find uh, a lot of stuff in my storage bins downstairs and it has been a goal of mine, like I've told you guys before, to go through everything in the next few months. So the more I go through these boxes, the more things I find and the more video content I have for you guys. Now what I found, I keep dropping it so let's not do that. One second. I'm very very clumsy. What I found is a comic book and I remember buying this comic book. I think it was three or four years ago. When was this uh, created? Let me find it. It'll say somewhere in here. Da 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 da. 2013. Now I've got to be honest, I am not really a comic book reader. I have nothing against them. I just I've never really been interested in them I just kind of like reading novels instead So I went on a trip to Europe back in 2014 I believe we went to Estonia London Paris. It was amazing. We were gone for like two months I was there with my family loved it best trip I've ever been on but as you guys may know the trip from Toronto Canada to Europe is is very very long You're on the plane for like basically half a day so a couple days before before we went on our trip, I decided to go to the store and grab a bunch of stuff that I could take on the plane with me to occupy me. And I did get a couple books like I usually do, but then I thought, why not grab some comic books for once? And I don't know what comic books are really good because I've never read them. So I went to this used comic book store and that place was like just packed with comics. Like you know when you go into those stores and there's just boxes and boxes of comics and you have to like sift through all of them and find the good ones? Yeah. Great selection, just takes a long time to look through them. But I found this one book and it's based on the grim fairy tales and like I love grim fairy tales are so creepy and weird and I thought wow they turned it into a comic and they called it Quest so I bought it. <laughs> and I think mainly because I just like looking at the artwork of comics not really the the content. As bad as that sounds I'm sorry to all the comic book readers I just like looking at the art more than the actual story. So um yeah there's a lot of a lot of cool cool pictures in here a lot of um boobs <laughs> These characters, they they like to, you know, show off. I guess the illustrator just wanted to make them very large chested and I was on the plane reading this and my dad would look over and he'd be like, what are you reading? And I was like, oh dad, it's just like a comic book based on fairy tales. It's like, not what you think, you know? Anyways though, let me get to like the main point of this video. The very last page, <laughs> actually not even the last page, like on the very like back part of the book, there is a long note. And when I first, I finished this book and I looked at it and I was like, what the heck is this? Like maybe the previous owner of this comic was just like telling like the parts he liked about the book or something like that. But I did not expect it to be like a breakup letter or a letter about a breakup. Like it was so random to me. And as I was reading it on the plane, I was like, is this real? Like, is, is this real life? <laughs> and to be honest with you, it's actually very sad and my heart goes out to this guy and, and 
to the girl, obviously, who was in the relationship, but he sounds so sad and, okay, let me just read it for you guys and you'll, you'll know what I mean. Here we go. Grab some Kleenex boxes, okay? Tammy. This is the girl's name, I guess. Tammy. It breaks my heart that we are coming to an end. We've been through so much together. I feel like I've known you my whole life, even though it's only been two years. I mean, not really only two years. Two years is a long time. It really is. I know there's no way you'll take me back after what I did, but I still hope you'll accept my apology. Like, this makes me wonder what this guy did, but anyways, like, let's continue. I went to our favorite spot by the fountain yesterday to think about everything, and you're right. I don't deserve you. You've been the only one trying in this relationship, and I haven't been taking it seriously enough. I clearly need a few more years to grow up, but I honestly would have married you if you gave me that time. Oh, poor guy, honestly. But I get that you're moving on to better things. Enjoy your new life in New York. Maybe I'll come see one of your shows sometime if you'll let me. Oh, so I guess this girl's in like Broadway or something maybe? I don't really know. But anyways, I'm giving you this book because it reminds me of us. All those days sitting on your bed reading comics while eating M&Ms. I know you like fairy tales, so maybe you'll keep this with you to remind you of all our memories together. I wish you all the best in life, Tammy, and I'll love you forever. Love, Stuart. The even sadder thing, I know sadder is not, is sadder a word? Sadder? The most sad? What's even worse about this is that he must have given this book to her and she read this and then sent it in to a used comic book store because you know it's not with her right now, I have it and I'm not Tammy. So I wonder what happened or maybe he like chickened out and didn't give this to her and just thought like you know what, whatever and just gave it to like a used comic book store which I don't know which way it went but either way this is not with Tammy right now. I don't know what she's doing but I have their memories, what the heck. And this book was only made in 2013 so this was like a recent thing, like his writing isn't even smudged or it doesn't even look old yet because it's so new. So I don't know. And I mean, it, I guess it makes sense as to why he wrote it in this comic book because at first I was like, why? Like, why not just text her or like call her or something? But I guess this was sort of the last thing he wanted to give her as like a goodbye, as like a parting gift, which is sweet, but I do get where the girl would be coming from because sometimes if you go through a painful breakup, you don't want items to remember the person because memories are painful. You know what I mean? So. I get why she would have given this away if she got it, but I don't know. It's just weird because I have this book with something so personal in it and uh, Yeah, I don't even know what to do with it. I kept it because I don't know why I did I keep everything It's just weird how the person who took this book into the used comic book store didn't like check it before they resold it because I mean I don't know if they would want to resell it with this scary not scary But sad note in it. You know what I mean? But maybe like the person was just rushing and put it on the shelves without like thinking. But yeah, I thought I would share this with you guys. <laughs> Let me know what you think down below. Why am I always finding strange notes? Like someone tell me please. It's like all of these weird events and strange things just like cling to me and I can't escape them, which I'm not entirely complaining about because this literally gives me video content and stuff to talk and share with you guys, but like it's weird. It's really weird. I'm actually dying of thirst right now. Hold on. Where art thou, water? I am thirsty. All right, got my water. I'm drinking out of a Coca-Cola glass that my boyfriend Ty's dad gave to me. Always hydrate, kids. I don't even know why I'm doing this in front of the camera. Like, I'm literally ending my video right now. Anyways, though, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it as strange as I did. Um, if you want to read this book, it's called Quest. Not sponsored at all, obviously, because they're not going to sponsor me with a breakup letter inside of it. I don't even remember, like, what really happens in it. What does it say on the back? When a mysterious evil threatens the magical realm of mist, a rogue princess must team up with a fallen Wonderland knight, an outlaw dwarf, and mother nature to stop the threat. Together they set out on a journey to banish the dark force, but the obstacles that stand in their way may tear them apart before they can save their world. This action-packed grim fairy tale spin-off follows fan-favorite characters Druanna, Aisling, Blake, and Boulder as they venture to find the missing pieces of the vessel of Gloriana, the one artifact that might just prevent evil from overtaking their realm. 
It's so dramatic. <laughs> but yeah, I don't remember reading this at all. But this artwork though, this artwork, it's really great. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna go downstairs and put this back in my uh, box, <laughs> in my basement. And maybe like 10 years from now, I'll take it out and be like, found the breakup letter again. It's gonna be like reading it for the first time all over again. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Be prepared for just more strange things happening in my life for future videos. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. 